Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and quick review about this Digital Live 7.1 USB external sound card. Yeah, this is very interesting device and could be the solution for all these new devices like laptops, which don't have a lot of digital or analog audio input and output. And you can see what you get a lot of different input and outputs and also some uh, small description here uh, in the back. So let's open it and see what we get and how this looks and how it works. So this is the device, I would say solid build, beautiful, everything looks good. We have even these four soft rubber feet here at the bottom. So this makes it very safe and solid. And then we get some cables and the instructions manual. So since it's not a very long instruction manual, I think I could show you the English part. That's the first two pages, then next two pages. I hope you can see everything here, all the description. And then the last side with the technical specification. Regarding the cable, we get these USB cables, you can see with these two plugs here, standard USB and, and then this uh, more audio type of USB plug. And then here we see all the input and outputs on the side. I hope you can see that here some digital input and output here. And of course then the USB plug. And then on the side we have some 3.5 millimeter left and right and many more here. I hope you can read that. And then here on the top we have the volume up, volume down and the mute for the microphone and also mute for the volume. Before we attach this device to the PC, we have to download the software, the driver. You can scan this QR code. You can also find this directly on digitallife.shop. And here we have it. We have two downloads. We have the driver download and we have the manual download. So I'm downloading the driver. It's saying it's suitable for Windows 7, 8, 10. Of course, it also works for Windows 11. The only thing is there is a warning that it can't be downloaded securely, but I've already done this. I've even extracted the zip file. I've tested this with all available antivirus software and it hasn't been showing anything suspicious. So I think this is totally safe to install. And so here you can see everything green, absolutely nothing, no problem, nothing detected. By the way, here we have also FAQs. We have there are some small videos inside here. Then we have the manuals, tools, uh, and the README, really nice. So we double click the setup and install it right from here. Let's click on yes, next, and then accept, of course. And uh, yeah, we do the normal installation as we are used with normal programs. And then we get notification that we have to connect this device here to the PC. So we connect the USB here and the USB A on the PC. It says setting up a device, USB sound device. And then I think before we keep going with the OK, we wait till we get another confirmation from the Windows. Sometimes it can take up to a couple of minutes depending on the speed of your PC. Here I'm on a very slow PC. And so here we have the confirmation USB sound device is set up and ready to go. And only now we are clicking on the OK. And now we shouldn't get any problems, I think. And we get also a blue light here. And then it says it has successfully installed this audio device. And uh, of course, it's highly recommended to give it a restart so that everything is working perfectly. And then after the restart, we go into the system tray and we have this new icon, USB multi-channel audio device. Can click on it. And now you can see here we have everything. Here we have the different tabs with the main setting, effects, karaoke, information. And of course, the main thing, the most important thing here, I think the mixer where we have all the input and all the output, which we can select or deselect or whatever you want to do. And now it's time to plug in my headphone here on the left side. That's the dedicated port for the headphones. And let's also check if you can see something here in the speaker setting, like in the sound settings in general. 
and as you can see it has selected automatically this device here as general input and output here as an output speakers USB multi-channel and input microphone USB multi-channel and so let's go to the YouTube video here and play and so now we can definitely hear that the audio is coming from these headphones I hold it now to the microphone there is absolutely no doubt let's see if we can control the volume directly from here yeah you can see really good really convenient we can adjust the volume here and we can even use the output mute so you can see very very convenient so you have a lot of options I'm not going to show you everything but you can see it definitely works so this can be a huge add-on a huge plus for all the devices which have some limited sound cards limited audio input and output and so I can highly recommend it and I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it and I hope been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel thanks for watching see you next time